Hi guys. I'm Siri, welcome to iOS Beta News Channel. Nowadays a lot of new technologies are emerging. Not long ago, we thought that technology with a folding display was fantastic. But time goes by and technology allows you to make smartphones with a folding display. Samsung in 2019 and 2020 introduced two folding smartphones, the Galaxy Fold and the Galaxy Flip C, both of which have a folding design that is converted from one shape to another. The Galaxy Fold turns from a 4.6-inch smartphone to a 7.3-inch tablet, and the Galaxy Z Flip is a 6.7-inch smartphone that folds in half to be more portable. Other companies, such as Motorola and Huawei have also released folding smartphones. The technology is just beginning and still full of problems, but folding smartphones are a trend right now, and a trend that Apple may one day adopt. The hint of a folding iPhone started in 2016, when rumors were offered by LG Display, will be mass production of folding displays for smartphones in 2018, and supplies them to companies such as Apple and Google. The rumor of 2017 supported the concept of a folding iPhone, pointing out that Apple is working with LG to develop an iPhone with a folding display. LG has several prototypes of folding displays that use flexible OLED panels, including one that folds like a book, and the other is a newspaper. Most recently, Samsung suggested that Apple install folding displays for future iPhones, and Apple's supplier Corning is working on a solution for folding glasses. Corning is Apple's current supplier, and Corning's folding glass sounds promising for the future of the iPhone. Samsung is rumored to provide Apple samples of folding displays for the future folding iPhone. From September 2020, Samsung reportedly provides Apple with samples for one year, suggesting that Apple is increasing the volume of work on the folding iPhone. Insider John Prosser claims that Apple is working on a prototype folding iPhone that has two separate display panels that are connected by a hinge rather than one display like Samsung Galaxy Fold. It is said that the device has stainless steel round edges like the iPhone 11. And although it does not have a notch, Apple has added a tiny fort on which the Face ID is located. Although the prototype consists of two separate panels, the displays together look pretty continuous and seamless. Apple is likely testing several prototypes, and it is unclear whether this prototype or any other will reach the final version. According to sources from the Chinese supply chain, Apple allegedly started sending folding iPhones for testing to Foxconn company in November 2020. Testing includes an assessment of the use of OLED or micro LEDs, as well as the use of bearings, folding component. Foxconn will stress test the device with more than 100,000 opening and closing operations. Apple patents all sorts of things that never become finished products, so patents aren't necessarily a reliable way to predict what's in development. But Apple has several folding patents for the iPhone. The first Apple and iPhone folding patent appeared in 2016, describing a smartphone that folds in half horizontally using a flexible OLED display and a folding metal support design. Both halves of the display remain available when the phone is closed and there are also drawings depicting devices with many folds. The patent application for 2019 describes a folding smartphone with a built-in heating element or the display heating function to reduce failures when folding at low temperatures, an issue that can affect folding smartphones. In February 2020, Apple received a patent for a folding device with a hinged mechanism that uses movable folding doors to prevent crushing or damage to the display when folding. The hinged mechanism is designed to ensure an adequate separation between the first and second parts of the display. When the device is decomposed, the movable doors are extended to close the gap and then removed when the device folds. Apple's patent, issued in March, describes a unique alternative to the folding iPhone, explaining a system that will allow two or more devices to work as one when approaching each other using proximity sensors. The patent provides for two separate devices that automatically detect each other when placed together with a shared display. The formulation of the patent seems to suggest that Apple could create a single flexible device consisting of two displays that continuously interact with each other. The 2020 patent application assumes that Apple is studying a protective layer for a folding iPhone that will resist hacking. iPhone will have a layer of hard coating that will fill existing micro cracks to make it difficult for a larger crack to appear. The additional layer will be placed directly on top of the display and will protect against punctures and scratches.
Currently there is no concrete evidence that the folding iPhone is being prepared for launch in the near future. In the note by an analyst at Bank of America, Merrill Lynch in 2018 said that a folding iPhone will appear in 2020, but that didn't happen. In November 2020 rumors appeared in the Chinese supply chain that Apple is aiming for 2022 when it will release a folding iPhone. Since there are no specific rumors about a folding iPhone, there's not a word about what form a folding device can take. We saw folding smartphones as reference examples, which fold vertically as inside, so on the outside, from Samsung and Huawei. Apple patents included a device that folds horizontally and is not that wide, like smartphones from Huawei and Samsung, but Apple's patents are conceptual. We don't know what Apple's folding smartphone might look like until it advances further in development, but Allegedly, work is underway on the prototype, which includes displays connected by a hinge. As mentioned earlier, Samsung introduced the Galaxy Fold, $1,980 smartphone, which folds in half thanks to the hidden hinge in the middle. Samsung's early reviews weren't good, so it's not yet known if the trend of folding smartphones will take root. However, Samsung also has other folding smartphones in development. Therefore, it seems that the South Korean company is not ready to abandon the trend it has launched. In February 2020, Samsung introduced a folding second-generation Galaxy Z Flip smartphone. Galaxy Z Flip is a 6.7-inch smartphone, which folds in half to make it more compact. It's different from the Galaxy Fold because it originally has the size of a smartphone and doesn't work when folded, while the Galaxy Fold is a convertible device which should serve as a folded smartphone at the same time, and a tablet in an unfolded one. Motorola also has a folding RAZR smartphone, similar to the Galaxy Z Flip. It's designed to look like a traditional Motorola RAZR folding phone, but there are problems with the screen that folds and have to ensure full screen mode. Samsung was forced to postpone its debut, at the launch of the Galaxy Fold after. How columnists who provided one of the new devices found serious durability problems, the screens broke down after a few days of use. Samsung solved the problems, having changed the design, by making the Galaxy Fold stronger and more resistant to multiple folds. Similar problems were discovered with Galaxy Z Flip, and there were complaints about the quality of the display. Galaxy Z Flip uses bending glass, and at least one user saw problems cracking the display at low temperatures. Motorola RAZR. I also didn't prove myself very well, and one columnist noticed that the device's display broke in the middle after just a week of use without any known trigger causing a failure. Given the high price of folding iPhones, their fragile nature, and a penchant for failure, Apple may be planning to wait for the technology to become more mature before deciding to release your own folding iPhone. It was a short overview of the future of the iPhone Fold. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like, subscribe, click to bell. Siri was with you.